Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all are doing great. I am Neha Radhavanshi and I welcome you all in today's class that is English class of class 10th. So students in today's video we will start reading with our next topic of grammar syllabus. This topic is known as frame questions. So yes in our examination we will have this kind of question in which we are having one answer and we have to frame question of that given answer. Okay. So this is the new topic. So now in today's video we will see that how can we frame questions questions how can we make questions of the given answer so yes it's a very easy topic so just uh, listen carefully and let's start our today's video that is based on frame questions so first of all let's try to understand what uh, this term frame question actually means to make a question on the given answer is known frame question so yes we will have one answer and if we are uh, framing if we are making a question of that uh, answer that is known as a frame question. So generally the kya hota hai? Exam mein we are having the questions and we have to answer those questions. But in this particular topic, we will have the answer and after reading the answer, we have to make the appropriate question of that answer. Clear? So this, this is the topic that is known as a frame question. Now we are having that question they can be make with her two ways. So I hope this uh, thing is clear to you all that we have to make question, we have to frame the question of the given answer. So how can we make the question? This is the question that actually arises here. So we are having this thing here that we can make or we can frame question with her two ways. So yes, we are having two ways with the help of these ways we can frame question. So what are these two options we are having here? The first one is we can make a question using any WH word. So yes, we are having so many WH word or we can say we are having some question words like we are having what, where, when, how, how much, how many, who, whose, whom. So all these words are known as WH words or we can say all these words are known as question words. So maybe we can have one WH word and with the help of that word we can say using that word we have to make one question okay now the second option is that we can make our question with any auxiliary verb yes this is yet another option auxiliary verb means we are having so many helping verbs and we are having model auxiliary also so if we are having no wh word then we can make our question with any auxiliary verb also and here i am very much sure that you all are able to you know recall this thing that when we are having any question that is having any auxiliary verb in the beginning then definitely the answer will be either in yes or in no okay i hope this is clear to you all so now let's take some example and let's try to understand this thing more clearly that how can we make a question with auxiliary verb also and using any question word also so let's say i am writing one sentence here uh, i am going to uh, let's uh, let's take uh, Shimla. So the sentence is that I am going to Shimla. Now I have to make the question, and the question word is given to us. So where? So we have to make a question and that question should be starting with where. So what is the answer of where? I am going to Shimla. So obviously the answer of where is to Shimla. So we have to skip that part and the remaining parts we have to use in our question. And yes, we have to use the same tense that is uh, uh, in the answer statement. So here we are having is RM plus ING. It means this is present continuous tense. So in the question also we will use the same tense. So let's see how can we make the question where are you going so this is the question of this answer statement answer is i am going to shimla and the question is where are you going clear so we can make a question using any wh word or we can say using any question word now the second option is that we can make a question using any auxiliary verb and such questions always have the answer that is having yes or no in the beginning so let's see uh, one example like i'm having that yes i like uh, I like to watch 
TV. So this is the answer statement and we are having yes in the beginning. Maybe we are having no in the beginning and then our answer will be no, I do not like to watch TV in this manner. So whether we are having yes, whether we are having no. So in that case, we won't have any WH word here and we have to make the question. Then how will we make the question? We will make the question using auxiliary verb and the auxiliary verb will be there in this answer statement. So now obviously you will all have this question that in this statement we are having no auxiliary verb so why we are having no auxiliary verb so again the knowledge of tenses that will help you here so why we are having no auxiliary because this is the sentence of present simple tense because we are having I that is a plural one and we are having first form of the verb so it means this is the sentence of present simple tense and the helping verb we can say auxiliary verb they are hidden here so what helping of is hidden here do is hidden here so if we are uh, making a question so we will use do and then the sentence is yes i like to watch tv the question will be do you like to watch tv and question mark at the end of the sentence so this will be the question using the auxiliary verb and just remember this thing that such sentence in which we are having any auxiliary verb in the beginning so the answer of those question will always have yes or no in the beginning of the sentence okay i hope this is clear to you all next to moving on so now we are having some important points to be taken care of. So now when we are framing the question, now when we are making the question of the given answer, so what are the important points that we should always take care? So we are having those points here. So let's see what are the important points. The first one is start the question with WH word or auxiliary word. So yes, so always and always the first word of the question it will be either any wh word or any auxiliary word or we can say auxiliary verb also okay so these are the two options that we are having example we have discussed already and these are the two option we can have any wh word also and we can have any auxiliary verb also in the beginning of our question right second uh, important rule is use the same tense as of the answer statement yes it is very very important point that we are having here according to this point in the question or when we are framing the question so we have to use the same test that is given or we can say that is used in the answer statement so the same tense will be there in the question also all right Third point is all parts of speech should be included in the question. So yes, when we are framing the question, so we have to include all parts of speech. So what it means? It means that all the adjectives, all the adverbs, or whatever part of speech is there in the answer statement. So we have to use all parts of speech in the question. Obviously, the part of the answer, just question ka actual answer hai, wo to hum use nahi karenge. But the remaining part of his speech, each and every word should be there in the question, right? And the next point is change the pronoun accordingly. Yes, we have to change the pronoun also. How? So let's take one more example to clear this thing that how we have to change the pronoun. So suppose I am taking a sentence here that I like. Uh, Radha's dance. This is the answer statement that is given to us. We have to make question from this answer statement and the question word is whose. This is the question word that is given to us. So now let's see, I like Radha's dance. Here I'm talking about, you know, my preference. Here I'm talking about my interest and I'm saying that I like Radha's dance. So obviously, when you will ask this question to me, then what will be the question? You will ask that whose dance do you like? This I, it will be converted into you. Aise hi hota hai, hum kisi se koi question hai, that what is 
your name then that person always says my name is this or that right so in this way we have to you know change the pronoun we have to do the proper changes in the pronoun in this way I hope it is clear. So let's see how can we write. The answer statement is I like Radha's dance. So the question will be whose dance? Again we are having present simple tense here. So whose dance do you like? and question mark so this is the change that we are doing in the pronoun i it will be replaced with you okay and why i hope the reason is clear to you all because when we are asking this question to someone that whose dance do you like then that person will answer and he will say that i like obviously he won't use that you like right he will say that i like so in this way we have to do the change is in the pronoun right so is tarah se hame pronoun ke changes karne hai and we have to use the same tense that is there in the answer statement and yes we have to use all parts of speech and we have to use any wh word or any auxiliary verb in the beginning of the sentence so these are the basic rules and we have to follow all these rules we have to apply all these rules and then we have to frame question then we have to make a proper and a perfect question of the given answer statement now we are having some examples so we have discussed all the rules and we will have to apply we have to follow all the rules and then we will be able to frame question of the given answer statement okay so we are having one answer statement we are having the wh word so we have to use this wh word and then we have to frame a question for this given answer statement so let's see the first one manya was reading a book at her home okay so this is the answer and the given wh word is a what so we have to make a question using what so let's see how can we make so first of all we have to use the same tense so we have to see that in this sentence we are having past continuous tense right because we are having was and we are having first form plus ing so this is past continuous tense so in the question also we have to use the same tense so we are using same tense and the answer will be what was manya reading at her home so what is the answer of what obviously the answer is a book so we want to use a book here and all the parts all the remaining parts we have to use okay so we have to write at her home also so in this manner we can frame a question the question will be what was manya reading at her home clear next we have to make question using who the same answer statement we have to use but the wh word now we have to use a who so now the question will be who was reading a book at her home and what is the answer who was reading manya was reading okay so now the answer is manya the answer of what is a book the answer of who is a manya so just skip the answer word and use the remaining part in your question okay next we have to use where now the answer statement is same but now we have to frame question using where so let's see how can we make now the question will be where was manya reading a book and what is the answer of where the answer of where is at her home okay so this is also possible we are having one answer statement and to we are able to make three question using what using who and using where just remember this thing we have to use the same tense and just skip the answer word the part of the answer and use all the remaining parts all the remaining words all the remaining parts of speech in your question okay now the next answer statement we are having here i like chocolate ice cream so now we have to make the question and we have to use which as a wh word so let's see how can we make the question how can we frame the question now the question will be which ice cream do you like so here student we can revise this thing that we have to change the pronoun we are having i so we are replacing i with you and we have to 
identify the tense first of all we are having present simple tense here because we are having first form so students yes the knowledge of tense is very very helpful in the other topics also okay so in this topic also we have to use our knowledge of tenses because we have to identify the tense and the same tense we have to use when we are framing the question so the answer is i like chocolate ice cream the answer of which is chocolate ice cream so this part we won't write in the uh, question and we will write which ice cream do you like okay next we are having they went udaipur last year so now we have to make a question and we have to use the where so first of all let's see what is the answer of where the answer of where is udaipur right wo kahan gaye wo udaipur gaye the so the answer of where is udaipur now we have to identify the tense here so we are having went went means we are having second form of the verb ओके okay, और सेकंड फॉर्म ऑफ द वर्ब कौन से टेंस में यूज होती है यस इट इज पास्ट सिंपल टेंस राइट सो वी आर हैविंग पास्ट सिंपल टेंस हियर इन द आंसर स्टेटमेंट सो इन द क्वेश्चन आल्सो वी हैव टू यूज द सेम टेंस द क्वेश्चन वर्ड दैट इज गिवन टू अस इज वेयर सो लेट्स सी हाउ कैन वी मेक अ क्वेश्चन वी कैन मेक वेयर डिड दे गो लास्ट ईयर एंड द आंसर विल बी दे वेंट उदयपुर लास्ट ईयर सो आई होप यू ऑल आर एबल टू रिकॉल दैट वेन वी आर हैविंग इंटेरोगेटिव सेंटेंस ऑफ पास सिंपल देन वी हैव टू यूज डेड प्लस फर्स्ट form but in affirmative sentence we have to use second form only okay next is farmers work hard for good crops so this is the answer statement we have to make the question and we have to use a why here so farmers work hard for good crops so what is the answer of why the answer of why is for good crops okay it means you know for what purpose why are they doing so so now we have to identify the tense here farmers it's a plural and work it's a first form of the main verb so yes this is present simple tense and here do is a hidden so in the question we have to use do we have to use the same tense so we can make why do farmers work hard and the answer is they work hard for good crops okay next there was five liter milk in the pot and the wh word that is given to us is how much so students don't get confused yes in how much we are having no w here but still how how much how many these words are also included in the category of wh word right so how much it is also one of the wh word so now we have to make the question and we have to use how much so what is the answer of how much the answer of how much is 5 liter so let's see how can we make the question we can make how much milk was there in the pot so answer is there was 5 liter milk okay next is ramesh died of malaria and the wh word that is given to us is how so let's see died means we are having second form of the main verb so again in this sentence we are having past simple tense so we have to use did because in interrogative sentence we have to use did plus first form so let's see if we have to write how did ramesh die so die it's the first form and died this is second form okay so when we are using did so we have to use did plus first form but when did is hidden so we have to use second form of the main verb right now we are having shweta helped priya for the competition and now we have to use whom the wh word that is given to us is whom so let's see and in this sentence also we are having second form of the main verb it means this is also past simple tense so we have to use did so let's see we are having did here and the sentence will be whom did shweta help for the competition and the answer is she helped priya okay so priya is the answer of whom clear 
नेक्स्ट वी आर हैविंग एक्सरसाइज नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस सो मैनी एग्जाम्पल्स वी हैव सीन सो मैनी रूल्स सो नाउ आई होप डेट यू ऑल आर एबल टू डू दिस प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज सो नाउ वी आर हैविंग अगेन सम आंसर स्टेटमेंट वी आर हैविंग अ डब्ल एच वर्ड सो नाउ वी हैव टू मेक द क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस आंसर स्टेटमेंट ओके सो आई होप यू ऑल आर रेडी टू सॉल्व दिस प्रैक्टिस एक्सरसाइज सो लेट स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट वन इज आई मेट राधा इन द स्कूल द डब्ल एच वर्ड डेट इज गिवन टू अस इज होम सो वॉट इज द आंसर ऑफ होम फर्स्ट टू ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट थिंग द आंसर ऑफ होम इज राधा सो नाउ वी आर मेकिंग क्वेश्चन यूजिंग होम होम फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी हैव टू राइट होम नाउ वी आर हैविंग मैट मैट इज अ सेकेंड फॉर्म ऑफ द मेन वर्ब इट मीन्स इन दिस आंसर स्टेटमेंट वी आर हैविंग पास्ट सिंपल टेंस सो इन द क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो वी हैव टू यूज द सेम टेंस सो द हेल्पिंग वर्ब फॉर पास्ट सिंपल टेंस इज डिड सो आई एम राइटिंग डिड हेयर आफ्टर डिड वी हैव टू यूज फर्स्ट फॉर्म फर्स्ट फॉर्म ऑफ मैट विल बी मीट सो द आंसर इज आई मैट राधा इन द स्कूल क्वेश्चन विल बी होम डिड now i it will be you i hope it is clear because we have to change the pronoun accordingly now met ka hame likhna hai meet why because in interrogative sentence when did is there so with did we have to write first form of the main verb so i am writing here whom did you meet in the school and yes question mark at the end of the sentence and the answer is radha i met radha in the school okay so in this way step by step you can go and you can make a perfect question for the given answer statement just remember to use the same tense just remember to change the pronoun accordingly next one we have to use where the answer statement is same but we have to make question using where so let's see what is the answer of where the answer of where obviously it should be one place okay so what place is there here we are having in the school so now let's see how can we make where did you meet radha so now our question is where did you meet radha answer is where in the school okay next we are having mr sharma teaches us english and we have to make a question using what so what is the answer of what the answer of what is the english right so now we we'll let's see the tense we are having teaches it means first form plus s or es so again it's a present simple tense and in this sentence does is a hidden because mr sharma it's a singular one so does is hidden here so we have to use does what does mr sharma teaches ka hame kya karna hai it will be teach why because we are having interrogative sentence we are having does here so we have to use teach only and uh, as ka hame kya karna hai again we have to change the pronoun answer is mr sharma teaches us english so what will be the question question will be what does mr sharma teach you okay it will be the perfect question now we are having they went to sri lanka by boat so we have to make a question using how so what is the answer of how the answer of how is by boat so let's see if we how can we make the question and we are having when that is the second form it means we are having past simple tense here and did is hidden here so we have to use did how did they went ki first form hame use karni hai that is go how did they go to sri lanka and the answer will be how did they go by bus sorry by boat okay so in this manner we can make a question how did they go to sri lanka and the answer is they went to sri lanka by boat 
next the kids saw the lion in the zoo so here first of all we are having where so what is the answer of where the answer of where always will be any place any space so here we are having one place that is in the zoo so that is the answer of where and we are having saw that is the second form of a c so it is again past is simple tense did is hidden here so we have to use did so let's see where did the kids first form see uh, the lion and question mark so the answer is where did the kids see the lion now we have to use what answer statement will be the same but now we have to make a question using what so what is the answer of what the answer of what is the lion so now this time we have to skip the lion okay so let's see how can we make what did the kids C first form is C in the zoo. So now it will be the question. Now the question will be what did the kids see in the zoo? So what did they see? They saw the lion. Okay. So now next our question what is who? So this time we have to make a question using who. So uh, who? What is the answer of who? The answer of who is the kids. Okay. So let's see how can we make a sentence using who? So I am writing here who saw the lion. Okay. Let's write uh, there only. So here I am writing who saw the lion and we have to write in the zoo also. Who saw the lion in the zoo and what is the answer? Who saw? The kids saw. Okay. Now we are having next sentence that is I have five cousins and the WH word that is given to us is how many. So let's see how can we make a sentence. How many cousins do you have? We have to replace I with you. Okay. So this is the question. How many cousins do you have? Next is the soldiers fought with lot of courage and the question that we have to frame that will be having how. So what is the answer of how? The answer of how is with lot of courage. So let's see how can we write. We are having fought here that is second form of fight. It means we are having past a simple tense here. So we can write how did the soldiers how did the soldiers fight? The answer is how did they fight? They uh, fought with lot of courage. Now we are having the captain played very good to win the match. So we have to make a question using why. So why? What is the answer of why? The answer of why is to win the match. And we are having played again second form. It means did is hidden here. So we can write why did. Why did the captain, second form is played, first form will be play, very good. So question is why did the captain play very good? Answer is he played very good to win the match. Now we have to make a question using who. Answer statement is same. So the answer of who is the captain. So now the answer or we can say the question will be who played. Who played very good. कंप्लीट पार्ट ऑफ स्पीच हमें यूज करने हैं तो हमें लिखना होगा टू विन द मैच एंड यस वन क्वेश्चन मार्क एट द एंड ऑफ द सेंटेंस now we are having blue is my favorite color. We have to make a question using what. So what is the answer of what? Answer of what is a blue. So question will be what is 
my it will be replaced with your what is your favorite color this will be the question what is your favorite color answer will be blue is my favorite color now she is shushma's mother we have to make a question using whose so let's see whose mother we are having is so we will use same is whose mother is she so whose mother is she she is shushma's mother okay now we are having the answer in which we are having yes in the beginning so one thing is clear here that we have to make a question and in the beginning of the question we have to use the auxiliary verb here so let's see the answer yes we like to dance on the stage so how can we make the question so let's see we are having we like it means first form with plural subject so we are having present simple tense here and do is hidden here so we have to use do in the beginning and uh, uh, we are having yes we like so we it will be replaced with you do you like and the remaining part to dance on the stage okay so the question will be do you like to dance on the stage and the answer will be yes we like to dance on the stage so still you have to remember these things that you have to use the same tense and you have to change the pronoun accordingly okay next we are having no the children did not practice in the evening so in this question again we have to use auxiliary verb because we are having no in the beginning but this is a negative sentence so we are having did in this sentence so we have to use did did the children did the children uh, it is practice did the children practice in the evening this will be the question did the children practice in the evening okay next is yes the rich should help the poor so in this sentence we are having modal auxiliary so yes we can have modal auxiliaries also we can use modal auxiliary also to frame a question so now we will start our question uh, with the beginning of should should the rich uh, help the poor this will be the question that is uh, should the rich help the poor answer is yes the rich should help the poor next is no my friend will not bring any gift again we are having will auxiliary verb so let's see will my it will be replaced with your will your friend bring any gift so this will be the question will your friend bring any gift answer is no my friend will not bring any gift next is yes kriti gets up early in the morning gets up it means we are having does hidden here so we have to use does kriti now gets ke place pe hame likhna hai get okay get up early in the morning so this is the question does kriti get up early in the morning next we are having no we are not going for the swimming so we are having are not we have to use are we it will be replaced with you are you going for the swimming so this is the question are you going for the swimming answer will be no we are not going for the swimming 
okay so students we have discussed so many examples we have seen so many sentence in this practice exercise now i hope this topic that is frame question it is clear to you all it's a very easy topic just uh, learn all the rules that are related with the tenses and just take care of a very uh, few things like you have to follow the same tense you have to do changes in the pronoun and then you will be able to frame a question you will be able to make a perfect question for the given answer statement okay so just be with me in the next video we will see the new topic see you in the next video thank you